Steve Lamont here with your three-day Cellular Flare update for January 26th, I mean 27th, 2015. But first, breaking news for a UFO, UFO disclosure. There we go. USA Today recently published an article online releasing the United States' Air Force's UFO files. The files were dubbed as Project Blue Book. And special thank you to John Greenwald for being persistent in filing Freedom of Information Acts to acquire the files. You can check out the archive of 1.3 million pages of declassified government UFO files at theblackvault.com. And my uncle was also in the Air Force. He told me how he had to file a UFO report for the Navy. So this is amazing news for UFO disclosure. I feel like the government is getting ready to disclose the fact that we have been in communication with ETs. And uh, I don't have any proof to show you that right now, but just throwing out my own intuition. Um, and once this video is done, we're going to go back to the space weather. There you go. So solar activity has continued to be at moderate levels. Uh, region 2268, which is beta gamma, and beta gamma means uh, it has bipolar magnetics, uh, but north to south is in a straight line. Um, but 2268 did have an M1 flare on the 26th. That's that big sunspot you see right there. Uh, solar activity is expected to be at low levels with chances of M-class flares. The sun continues. Oh, you see the uh, sol M solar flare at the bottom uh, left corner of the sun. There it is right there at the very beginning. So that did happen on the 26th. Uh, that's also where solar winds have been getting uh, pretty crazy. Oh, uh, two new sunspots were named on the 26th, 2274 and 2275, which are right here and right there. So those were named, and both of them are beta, which means that they are bipolar, but they do have a straight line from the north to south pole of those magnetic. Great, and uh, like I said, uh, we're can we're expected to be at low levels. We do have a few chances of M-class flares. Um, not much of a chance for an X-class flare. These are all at uh, solarham.net. You can find these. So continuing with the solar wind, the sun continues with a disturbed solar wind from the southern crown. NOAA forecasts a continued disturbance with possibility of increasing wind speeds ranging from 450 to 550 kilometers per second. And I am Silamon with your solar flare update for January 27, 2014. Now over to Shantastic Sean. Thank you. That was awesome. We always love your solar flare updates. Um, they were loving it in the chat. Thanks, and guys! <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and give the other the rest of the energy forecast. Do you have my photo? Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to get that up right to nizzle. Thank you. Right to nizzle. Let's see here. Card reading. Uh, uh, energy forecast. Energy forecast is up. Thanks. All right. So for the energy forecast of January 27th, 2015, we have a lot of things going on here, so um, hold on tight as things we value seem to get a little bit blurry this week. Venus is making a sign change, and it's meeting up with Neptune, not to mention the Sun and Mercury are doing a little dance as well. Um, Venus moves into Pisces this week. Actually, it started to do that today. So you should sub expect some dreaming yet unrealistic vibes coming through, um, likely to pertain to love. M may not be necessarily a romantic relationship, but something you love is starting to seem a bit too good to be true. And during Mercury retrograde, be sure that you're getting the full story. Um, especially the next four weeks, they're going to be a little bit 
not, not too crazy, just make sure you're getting the right story. <laughs> um, Mercury is completing its first retrograde of the year, and just be careful you don't find yourself emptying your pockets and not being able to survive. It's really important to stay grounded at this time, and in the moment at the same time, which is kind of crazy, I know, to stay grounded yet in the moment, because you want to go with the flow. But on Friday, there is said to be a crazy meetup between Neptune and Venus, making it hard to tell which side the good guys are really on. So if you're on the edge of some decisions, it's recommended to not leave your rose-colored glasses on and to just keep your eyes wide open. Um, let's see here. As for the moon, uh, the moon is currently in Taurus. It's about 58% this evening. Um, in the first quarter, it is a waxing gibbous. In, um, since it is in Taurus, it usually represents routine and being less difficult. Um, it's also a good time to enjoy good food and relax in your spare time. Right now is a good time to kind of pamper yourself. Good mood or good food for this type of moon is um, plenty of vegetables, salads, very greeny things. So make sure you get lots of in nutrients in your life. So all in all, pretty much just watch your backs and keep your eyes wide open and enjoy yourself with an easy routine and some good food.